Hi, I'm Mike Marin, and in this video, we'll take a look at another example of including a categorical variable into a regression model. We'll be working with the lung capacity data that was introduced earlier in this series of videos. I've already imported the data into R and attached it. I've also already created a categorical representation of the height variable. To learn how to create a categorical variable from a numeric variable, you can check out our video on how to do this. We will fit a model using age and categorical height as our independent or explanatory variables. You can see here, taking a look at the levels of categorical height, they are A, B, C, D, E, F. Six categories or level, which are going to require five dummy variables or indicator variables. I've prepared a script that we're going to work through in this video, so let's go ahead and use that to fit this regression model. Here we're going to submit the command to fit the model using age and categorical height to estimate the mean lung capacity. Let's also ask for a summary of this model. We can see that the fitted regression equation to estimate the mean lung capacity is 0 0.98 plus 0 0.2 times age plus 1.48 times the indicator for category B plus 2.69 for the indicator for height category C and so on all the way up to 6.54, the indicator for height category F. The height category B indicator will equal 1 if the individual is in height category B and 0 otherwise. Same with category C. The indicator for category C will equal 1 if they're in height category C, 0 otherwise. To calculate the regression line for height category A, all of the other height category indicators will equal 0. We can see that the regression line will then be 0 0.98 plus 0 0.2 times age. Calculating the regression line for height category B, all of the height category indicators will equal 0, except for the category B indicator, which will equal 1. The regression line will then be 2.46 plus 0 0.2 times age. Following a similar process, we can calculate the regression line for each of the height categories. Now, let's take a look at these visually. I've prepared a script to produce a plot of these lung capacities versus age for each of the height categories represented using a different color. You can take a look at our video on modifying plots as well as our video on adding legends to plots for more on the commands that are going to be used to produce this plot. First, we're going to go ahead and plot the age versus lung capacity only for those in height category A we're going to use color 2, and again we're going to set y limits as well as label the x and y axes and include a title. Now we're going to add in the points for category B using color 3, and add in the points for height category C using color 4, the points for height category D using color 5, the points for height category E using color 6, and finally the points for height category F using color 7. We're also going to add a legend to this plot. And now let's add in the regression lines using the AB line command. Recall that to use this command A specifies the intercept for the line, B specifies the slope. So let's add in the line for height category A, an intercept of 0 0.98, slope of 0.2. Again we're going to use color 2 and we're going to use a line width of 3 to have these lines nice and fat and easily visible. And again, let's add in the line for category B, the line for category C, the line for category D, the line for category E, and finally the line for category F. Now, let's take a closer look at this plot and discuss the model and its interpretations. We can see that as the age increases, the lung capacity increases. That is, the mean lung capacity increases by 0.2 for each additional year, independent of the height category. The age effect is assumed to be the same for all height categories. As mentioned in earlier videos, this model assumes no interaction or no effect modification. We'll get to discussing interaction or effect modification in later videos. For now, let's recall the regression equation and relate this to what we see in this plot. The intercept of 0.98 is the estimated mean lung capacity for someone in height category A, our reference category, of age 0. The age effect of 0 
tells us that for each additional unit increase in age, we expect an increase of 0.2 in the mean lung capacity. The coefficient for height category B of 1.48 tells us the change in the mean lung capacity for someone in height category B relative to height category A, the reference. In other words, the regression line for height category B should increase by 1.48 relative to category A. The height category C coefficient of 2.69 tells us the expected change in mean lung capacity for someone in height category C relative to height category A, the reference. In other words, the regression line for height category C should increase by 2.69 relative to category A. This interpretation is the same for all height categories. So for height category F, the effect or coefficient of 6.54 tells us the change in mean lung capacity for someone in height category F relative to height category A. Again, the regression line for height category F will increase 6.54 relative to category A. In following videos, we'll discuss including multiple numeric as well as multiple categorical variables in a model and interpreting these, as well as fitting and interpreting models that include interaction or effect modification. Thanks for watching this video and make sure to check out my other instructional videos.